We are landing in Barcelona airport, ready to discover the different types of transport that can be used to get to the city center from the airport. We've used Barcelona airport dozens of times and the challenge for us today was to present the best ways to do it in an easy to understand way. We have made a great effort visiting the airport several times and racking our brains for days to develop the most practical tool possible. We feel we have succeeded. Here's our hopefully very useful guide to Barcelona airport transport. Hola, que tal? Hello, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal and Travel Guide Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information, insider tips, and our very own travel guides. The good news is that Barcelona Airport is not as huge as Madrid Airport. We hope that by the time you finished watching the video, you'll feel at ease planning your exit from the airport. There is a lot of information you need to know, so let's take a look at the summary of the video and how we've organized this information. Firstly, you need to know what the airport and its terminals look like. Secondly, you need to know the different types of transport that connect the airport to the city. Thirdly, you will want a guide on how to get out from each of the airport's terminals. And finally, we'll end the video with something new, a tool that will allow you to choose the transport alternative that suits you best. Let's start with the location and the terminals. Barcelona's only airport is located to the south of the city in the town of El Prat de Llobregat, next to the sea. Its official name is Josep Tarradellas Barcelona El Prat, and it is also known simply as Aeropuerto del Prat. Its IATA code is BCN. The airport has three runways and two terminals. Terminal 1 is the most modern and handles most flights from outside Europe, as well as many flights from Europe. Terminal 2 is the oldest terminal and has been converted into a sort of low-cost terminal, where airlines such as EasyJet, Norwegian and Ryanair operate. The only exception is the Spanish low-cost airline Vueling, which operates from T1. Although apparently close, the walking distance between T1 and T2 is very long and it's not possible to walk from one terminal to the other. For this purpose, there is a free shuttle bus connecting T1 to T2 and vice versa, which can be taken from the arrivals floor of each terminal. It runs at regular intervals and we'll talk about it later again. But remember that the distance is too great to walk from T1 to T2. Barcelona Airport is very well served by the city's public transport and there are numerous options for getting from the airport. The airport metro, the airport train, the aerobus, the conventional bus, long distance buses, and taxis and ride sharing services. Let's start with the airport metro. There are two metro stations. Line L9 South Orange, the airport line, runs through both terminals. The first station on the line coming out of the airport is at T1, and the second station is at T2. Let's see where you can travel with the airport metro. The first station on the line, as we have just seen, is at T1, the second station is at T2. For the person going to the center of Barcelona, the next 10 stations on the line are probably of no interest whatsoever. The first interesting station is Torrassa, where you can make a connection with the red line 1. The second interesting station is Gol Blanc, where you can connect to the blue line 5. And at the final station, Zona Universitaria, you can connect to line 3, green. In the last three stations mentioned, there are lifts and escalators that allow you to make connections without having to climb stairs. Zona Universitaria is quite far from the center of Barcelona, so it is unlikely that your accommodation will be close by. Therefore, if you choose to take the metro from the airport, you will almost certainly have to connect with another line to get to your accommodation. The line you will have to connect with 
with depends very much on the address of your accommodation. If you have any doubts, ask us and we will explain to you which is the best combination of lines in your specific case. The airport line has very modern driverless trains. From Sunday to Thursday, it runs from 5 a.m. to midnight. On Fridays and the eve of public holidays, the metro runs from 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. And from Saturday night to Sunday night, the metro runs non-stop. Let's talk about prices. If you buy an airport ticket, which is a single ticket, you will pay 5 euros 50 cents. Among the tickets most used by visitors to Barcelona and which are now available in the T Mobilitat format, and we'll talk about it in a second, the T Casual, the T Familiar, and the T Group are not valid on the airport metro, so you cannot buy them at the metro machines at the airport. The ticket T Usual can be used on the airport metro. Finally, the OLA BCN Unlimited Travel Pass, which we have dedicated a video to on the channel, can also be used on the airport metro. We've just talked about the T-Mobilitat, which is a new way of paying for your transport tickets in Barcelona. If you want to know all the details about this new public transport payment system, watch the video where we explain what it is and how the system works. You will need it if you are visiting in Barcelona. If your flight arrives in Terminal 1, it is very easy to get to the metro station. Once you have collected your luggage and come out into the public part of the airport, you will immediately see a series of signs indicating the location of public transportation. You will now see the way you need to take to get to the metro station. Walk straight ahead, always in a straight line. You will see metro logos confirming that you are approaching the station. You will go down an escalator and continue walking straight ahead. At the end of the hall you are about to reach, you will see the ticket machines on the right and the station entrance on the left. If your flight arrives in Terminal 2, when you come out into the public part of the airport, turn left and get ready to walk. You will walk almost from one end of the terminal to the other. When you think you finish the terminal, you'll see that there is still one more piece of the terminal. At the end of the terminal, you will see an escalator with an arrow pointing to the metro symbol. Go up the escalator and follow the arrows pointing the way to the train station and the underground station. When you come out of the escalator, follow the arrows for the metro and train once more. You will cross a long and endless footbridge. A long time ago, in the last century, here you could find helpful movable walkways, but they were removed quite a while ago. When you reach the end of the walkway, you will have to go down. You will soon reach the entrance to the train station. The metro station is a little farther on, just keep walking. In the metro station you will see a small tourist office and ticket machines. Now let's see how to buy that metro ticket. The two metro stations at the airport, at T1 and T2, have many automatic ticket vending machines. We would like to remind you once again that the most used ticket by tourists in Barcelona, the T Casual, cannot be used in the airport metro and therefore cannot be bought at the machines either. Search for a machine, tap the screen. If you want, choose a language other than the one shown, which is usually Catalan. We choose English. You will see in front of you all the tickets that can be bought in the terminal. We are going to buy a single ticket to leave the airport by metro, but we could also buy a T usual ticket, which we'll talk about in a sec, or a day ticket, valid for 24 hours tap on the airport ticket image. On the following screen you can change the number of tickets you are going to buy. Tap confirm to see the total you will have to pay. Enter your payment in coins, by credit card or with banknotes. Once the purchase has been finalized, the ticket and change if you will appear at the bottom of the machine. With the airport ticket you can change metro lines as many times as you like as long as you don't leave any of the stations. If you leave a station and go outside, you will have to pay again when you get back into the system. As the airport ticket is not yet part of T-Mobilitat, you receive a paper ticket which you have to insert at the barrier in order to validate your journey and enter the station. The same will happen if you are traveling with a OLA BCN card, you will have to validate it by inserting the card into the slot and remove it when it is ejected. And we interrupt this program to leave a hot 
tip for those who will be traveling to Barcelona in 2024. During this year, the authorities are subsidizing part of the price of some tickets. Of these, the one with the most interesting price is the T usual. Normally, it costs 4270, but in 2024, it will be available for 2035. It is a single ticket, it cannot be shared, and allows unlimited travel in Barcelona for a month on all integrated transport in the city, including the airport metro. You may not be in Barcelona for a month, but it is a very good price, even if you are only in Barcelona for a few days. Let's see how to buy it. On the same machine, on the home screen, tap on T usual. Next, you will see a notice explaining what T mobilitat is. The next step is to choose the number of zones for which the T usual will be valid. As explained in the T mobilitat video, one zone is enough, which includes the airport and the whole of Barcelona. Tap one. When you buy the T user, which is an individual use ticket, you will need to provide an official document number, which can be the DNI or NIE if you live in Spain, or the passport number if you are a foreigner. The number will be printed on the card, and pay attention, you must carry the original document, the passport, at all times, just in case it is required. This is a measure designed to prevent fraud. If your document contains letters, only enter the numbers. The following screen summarizes your purchase. And now it is time to pay and return retrieve the card from the bottom of the machine. Now let's see how to validate your ticket. To enter the metro station, you need to hold your t mobilitat card up to the reader in front of the metro turnstiles. A sound will indicate that validation has taken place and the doors should open. Let's talk about the airport train. Barcelona Airport has only one train station in T2 next to the T2 metro station. There is a project to bring the train to T1. Work is underway, but there is currently no indication as to when it will be completed. Barcelona Airport is served by the R2 North North line of the Barcelona Rodalies trains, the commuter trains. The route of the line leaving the airport is as follows. Airport T2, El Prat de Llobregat, Belvidja, Barcelona Sands, Barcelona Passage de Gracia, Barcelona Clot Arago, and continues outside Barcelona. The two most important stations for visitors to the city are Barcelona Sands and Barcelona Passage de Gracia. For two reasons, because they connect to the metro and because in the case of many hotels, they allow you to walk to your accommodation directly from the train station. The airport train line runs from 5.30 in the morning until 11.30 at night, seven days a week. Trains depart every 30 minutes. Approximate travel time between the airport and sand station is 20 minutes. Let's see how to get to the train station. If your flight arrives at T1, you will have to go to T2 to get on the train. When you come out into the public part of the airport, walk forward and a little later turn right, following the path you are now seeing in the image. You will go down two sliding platforms and appear at the Aerobus stop. In front of the Aerobus, turning right, you will find the stop of the free shuttle bus that connects the two terminals. Get on the bus and when it arrives at T2, get off. Enter the terminal and you will immediately see the escalator we saw earlier that shows the way to the metro station and the train. Just in case, let's have a look at it again. Go up the escalator and follow the arrows pointing the way to the train station. Enter a long corridor, cross the walkway to the end, go down the escalator, and in a few seconds, on your right, the entrance to the train station will appear. If your flight arrives at T2, you will take exactly the same path as shown earlier when we explained how to get to the T2 metro station. When you enter the train station, you will see automatic ticket machines on your right and a ticket office with train employees. There are also machines on the left, but they work a little differently. The one-way train ticket costs €4.60, Euro but only the uninformed paid that price. Beware, because we have already seen videos on YouTube of supposed specialists paying €4.60. Euro if you pay for the train with a T-card, 
Fascio. Loaded on a T-Mobilitat card, the trip will cost you 1 euro 21 cents with the right to transfer to other means of transport. You could, for example, take the train from the airport and transfer to a metro when you get to Barcelona. If you make that transfer within 75 minutes, you will spend a single ticket for the whole journey. 121 if you pay with a T casual ticket, 133 if you pay with a T familiar. Let's see how to purchase a T casual, a ticket that cannot be shared, each passenger must have one, that allows you to complete 10 trips using Barcelona public transport. We are going to load that T casual ticket onto a T mobilitat card. On the initial screen, we touch on the option that will allow us to see the menus in English. On the Select Your Ticket screen, touch on Team Mobilitat on the left-hand side of the screen. You will see now the list of tickets you can buy. We are going to touch on T Casual, but if you'd like to purchase a T Usual, T Familiar or T Group, you would touch now on the ticket of your choice. You now need to choose how many zones your T Casual ticket is valid for. In the video about T Mobilitat you must watch, we explain how the zone system works, in case you want to know more. Now the only important thing to know is that you must choose one zone which covers the journey from the airport to the city and all journeys within the city of Barcelona. On the next screen a notice at the top of the screen informs you that you are paying 50 cents for the T-Mobilitat card. Now choose whether you want to pay with cash or by card. Your ticket and change, if any is due, will appear at the bottom of the machine. Each passenger will now have a T-Mobilitat that card loaded with a T casual ticket. A screen in the station informs you of the departure times of the next trains. All trains departing from the airport go to Barcelona, so you cannot go wrong. The journey is validated in exactly the same way as on the metro by holding the T Mobilitat card up to the reader, with one difference you have to repeat the operation at the station where the train arrives. If you want to benefit from the Combinado Cercanía, which is a Renfe and Irio advantage. For those taking a high-speed train within the next four hours, look for a barrier with a QR code reader and enter the QR code on your ticket. We've got a video where we show you everything you need to know about the Combinado Cercanías. Don't miss it in case you intend to use it. Wait for the next train to arrive and get on calmly. The train usually leaves the airport with plenty of empty seats. Screens scattered throughout the carriages inform you of the arrival of the next stations. Aerobus is the name of the official bus that links Barcelona airport with the city center. It is a bus for travelers arriving in Barcelona with space for luggage and free Wi-Fi. It goes from the airport to Plaza de España and Plaza de Catalunya where its final stop is. The buses are blue and clearly marked with the letters Aerobus on the sides. The Aerobus has two lines. Line A1 goes from T1 to the city center and line A2 goes from T2 to the city center. Neither the A1 line passes through T2 nor the A2 line passes through T1. If you are arriving in Barcelona, get on the Aerobus on your terminal. The end point of the two lines in the center of Barcelona is the same, but if you are returning from the city to the airport, make sure you choose the line that takes you to your terminal. It is clearly marked on the front of the buses. After leaving the airport, the aerobus stops are the same on both lines 1 and 2. The first one is at Plaza de España, good for those staying in the region. Then there are two stops on Gran Via, one on the corner of Comte Borrell and the other at the Universitat. And the final stop is in the heart of Barcelona at Plaza de Catalunya. Next to the final stop, there is a taxi rank in case you want to get off the aerobus and get into a taxi. The journey between the airport and Plaza de Catalunya under normal traffic conditions should not take more than 35 minutes. If you arrive at T1 to reach the aerobus stop, you will follow the same way as the one we took earlier to get to the shuttle that goes from T1 and T2 and that you are now seeing on the screen. The aerobus stop is just off the second ramp. If you 
your flight arrives at T2, when you exit to the public part of the airport, turn left, walk for a while, turn right to exit the terminal, and turn left again to get to the Aerobus stop, as you can see now on the images. Aerobus operates from Monday to Sunday, 24 hours a day. Attention, because none of Barcelona's transport tickets are valid on the Aerobus. To travel on the Aerobus, you have to buy a ticket exclusively valid for the Aerobus. A single ticket costs 6 75 a return ticket cost 11.65 children under four years old are free of charge you can buy your tickets for the aerobus online before traveling but it is not essential and does not give you any advantage with money paying an employee of the company who is at the initial stop or at the ticket machines with a card Local bus line 46 connects Barcelona Airport with Plaza de España. At Plaza de España you can connect with the metro or other bus lines. We would like to stress that this is a conventional bus with no specific space for luggage transport and that depending on the time of the day it can be very crowded as it is used by many people who work at the airport. Don't do like those travelers with luggage that put their bags in the space reserved for the disabled. The the journey time to Plaza de España is much slower than the Aerobus as the 46 bus makes 23 stops on its way compared to none on the Aerobus before Plaza de España. The 46 bus is an economical option for those traveling with little luggage and can be very good for those staying along the line or in the Plaza de España region. Bus 46 runs from Monday to Sunday from 4.50 a.m to 11.50 p.m. The single ticket costs 2.55 and can only be purchased on the bus by contactless card. The driver does not sell tickets. This ticket does not allow transfers. If you have a T-Mobilitat card and pay with a T-Casual for the journey, you will spend 121. If you pay with a T-Familiar, you will spend 133, in both cases with the right to transfers. If you don't already have a T-Casual or T-Familiar, you can buy them at the Estanco, the tobacconist in T1, or at the train station in T2, following the instructions we gave you when we talked about the airport train. You cannot buy the T-Casual or T-Familiar ticket at the airport metro stations. It is very easy to get to the Estanco. When you arrive at the public part of the airport in T1, walk straight ahead, as shown in the pictures. Follow the signs indicating the way to the Estanco. You'll exit outside the airport through a revolving door and you'll find the Estanco on your right. The Estanco is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday to Sunday. At the Estanco you can only buy T casual and tea familiar in the old paper format which is already impossible to buy from the machines. We don't know how much longer the Stanco will continue to sell the tea casual in the old format but we understand that if it is so it is because it can still be used. It's still a valid ticket that you validate by inserting it into the machines inside the buses. Let's see how to get to the line 46 stop. If you arrive at T1 when you come out into the public part of the airport, walk in a straight line as you will see now on the screen and turn left at the place we are showing you. You will go down two ramps. At the end of the last one you will see the aerobus just ahead. Turn 180 degrees to continue walking until you reach the 46 stop. If your flight arrives at T2 when you exit to the public part of the airport you will have to walk almost all that endless walk we did to get to the metro and train. Only that when you are in front of the escalator you will turn right and exit the terminal. The shuttle stop connecting the terminals will be just ahead. Turn right and walk. The first 46 stop you will come to is for those traveling in the direction of T4. Keep walking until you reach the second stop of the 46. Taxis and VTCs, ride-sharing services, are one of the transport options for leaving Barcelona Airport. Barcelona taxis are easy to identify with their black paintwork and yellow doors. There is no special airport taxi service. The city taxis are the same as the ones that pick up passengers at the airport. 
The journey from the airport to the city can take half an hour depending a lot on traffic and the direction you are heading in Barcelona. Unlike at Madrid airport, there is no fixed fare in Barcelona. You pay what the taximeter shows. In the case of journeys to nearby places such as a hotel near the airport, there is a minimum charge of 20 euros. The passenger has to pay what the taximeter shows plus supplements, which may include a supplement of 450 for leaving the airport and a supplement of 450 for large taxis with more than four passengers. Please note that the transport of luggage is included in the taxi fare and no extra charge can be made for it. If in doubt, always ask for a receipt. The cost of a taxi ride from the airport to the center of Barcelona depends 100% on the location of your destination. It can cost anything between 30 and 50 euros. If you are going to Barcelona Cruise Terminal, there is a fixed fare from the airport to the cruise terminal and vice versa of 45 euros per vehicle, which includes all supplements. Let's take a look at how to get to the airport taxi ranks. If your flight arrives in T1, once you reach the open part of the airport, you'll see a taxi rank on the right for those who have booked their taxi in advance. If you don't have a booking, don't go down there. Turn left and take the axis we are showing on the screen now, which leads down a ramp to the taxi rank. If you arrive at T2, it's even easier. When you come out into the open part of the airport, walk straight ahead. Exit the terminal and turn right to find the taxi rank just in front of you. You might be wondering about ride-sharing services known in Spain as VTC, companies like Uber. Unlike in Madrid, where they operate without restrictions, legislation in Barcelona restricts their activity to the maximum. It seems that many drivers do not comply with these restrictions, which is causing constant conflict. That's why today, at the beginning of 2024, we are afraid to recommend any company without knowing what its future will be like in Barcelona. We are going to describe the situation now in January 2024 anyway, but be aware that it could change over the course of the year. At the moment, Bolt, Cabify and Uber are the companies operating at Barcelona Airport. To catch a Bolt or Cabify in T1, once you reach the open part of the airport, you have to go up to the departures level as shown in the images. Cross the first street and the Bolt and Cabify pickup point should be just in front of you. It's not an exclusive Point. Always follow the instructions on your app. To take an Uber, you'll follow the path towards the metro station we showed you earlier. Only you'll stop before going down and you'll turn left until you reach car park C, where the Uber pickup point is. Now you will see on the screen the prices that the apps gave for the airport Plaza de Catalunya ride. As you probably know, there are no fixed rates. The companies work with dynamic fares that change depending on the demand for their services. It is always worth comparing prices. What if you are not traveling to Barcelona, but to another destination? From the airport, there are bus lines to other parts of Catalonia, such as Tarragona or Girona, and even to Andorra. The main boarding point is in T1. Follow the instructions we gave to get to bus stop 46, and then cross the road to get to the bus station. There is also a second boarding point outside T2. It is a simple bus stop, not a proper bus station. So here's a quick summary. If you arrive at T1, you can travel to the center of Barcelona by metro on the airport line. You can travel by aerobus on line A1. You can use line 46 of the local buses. You can leave by taxi or ride sharing service. You can leave by train, but you will have to take the shuttle to T2 where the station is. And you could also take a long distance bus. If you arrive at T2, you can use the airport metro line, you can also use the airport train line, you can get on the aerobus line A2 or local line 46, you can take a taxi or ride sharing service, or you can take the shuttle to T1 or a long distance bus from the stop at T2, which is a little farther on from the taxi rank. To get to the ride sharing services at T2, just go to the external part of the terminal, you will see the taxis cross the street and you'll find the ride sharing services waiting for you there.
It is time to introduce you to our tool to help you choose the best way to get out of Barcelona airport. Let's get started now. Are you traveling with bulky luggage in a family or group or with children or elderly people? If the answer is no, wait a second, we'll get to step two in a moment. If the answer is yes and safety and comfort are a priority, you can take a taxi which will charge you whatever the taximeter shows or a ride sharing service, always aware of the comments we've made about the services. If saving money is a priority, be sure to watch the video of the channel we are showing you now and then continue. Do you want to go to the center of Barcelona? If the answer is yes, continue to step three. If the answer is no, ask us. There are many transport options that can take you to your destination. And now let's look at the different options for getting to the center of Barcelona, apart from taxis, which as you know, will charge you whatever the meter reads, and the ride sharing services. In the case of the metro and train, we'll assume you are not traveling with bulky luggage. If your destination is in the Plaza de Catalunya area, and here we include the upper part of La Ramblas, closest to the square, as well as the lower part of Paseo de Gracia, you could take the Aerobus, which is the only direct transport and will cost you 6.75. You could take the Metro from the airport. You will have to change to line L1 at Torrasa station and travel to Catalunya station. It will cost you 5.50. You could also take the train from the airport to Barcelona, Paseo de Gracia station, and change to the green metro line to travel to Catalunya station. The cost, paying with a T casual ticket, will be 121. If you are traveling to the upper part of Paseo de Gracia near Avenida Diagonal, you can take the train from the airport to Barcelona Passage de Gracia station with a cost of 121. Or you could take the metro from the airport you will have to change to line 5 and travel to Diagonal Station. It will cost you 550. If you were going to the Gothic Quarter, there are three options depending on the location of your hotel. You could take the Aerobus to the final stop and walk to the hotel, paying 675. You could take the Metro from the airport to the final station, Zona Universitaria, where you would change to the Green Line and travel to Drasanes or Liceo stations, depending on the exact location of your hotel at a cost of 550. Or if your hotel is on the other side of the Gothic Quarter near Via Layetana, you could travel on the airport train to Barcelona Passage de Gracia station where you would change to the yellow metro line to travel to Jaume Primero station. If you pay with a T casual, the trip will cost you 121. Finally, if you are heading to the Plaza de España area, you could take the Aerobus and get off halfway at Plaza de España at a cost of 6.75. Or you could take the local bus 46 to the final stop, costing 121 if you paid with a T casual. Finally, if you are going to any other place in the center of Barcelona that we have not mentioned so far, please ask us so that we can advise you as accurately as possible. Let's move on to the last piece of advice. Take it very seriously. In all of the above mentioned transports, in all of them, be extremely careful with your belongings. Barcelona is a city with an incredibly high concentration of tourists and Pickpockets love to take advantage of tourist distractions. The key tip, carry your passport, money and mobile phone in a pocket that it is very difficult to access. And if you don't think you'll have enough hands to take care of each suitcase and an extra hand to hold on to in transport, choose a less risky form of transport, such as taxis, even if they are more expensive. Barcelona is a wonderful city, don't let theft spoil your trip. In the video we have mentioned the updated prices for early 2024. In the description of the video and in the first comment we post, we will update these figures whenever there are any changes. To help you optimize your time in Barcelona and make the most of your visit, we have published our very own Barcelona walking tours. 
They are electronic guides of our own that will take you through the most important must-see parts of Barcelona, including food stops along the way. No need to rack your brains on how to visit Barcelona. We've done that work for you. Our series of Barcelona walking tours are part of our collection of walking tours dedicated to the most important cities in Spain and published through our Travel Guides Spain and Portugal brand. As always, if you have any questions about the subject of the video, take advantage of the commentary box to ask, especially if you want to know how to get to your hotel. And if you are planning to visit Barcelona, do check out, you will see it now on screen, our list of videos dedicated to Barcelona. It is a long list, we talk about everything, attractions, transport, food, mistakes you should avoid, how to save money. We are sure those videos will make your visit to Catalonia's capital even better. Waiting for you there.